I kind of thought we were going to have a little bit more bipartisanship on these bills, but apparently we decided to make a game out of people's occupational licenses here on the floor of the assembly, even though we could get bipartisan votes in the study committee. Instead, to try to play some sort of game, we're taking, we're, we're uh, in trying to make some sort of point in the budget. Uh, the other side is all going to vote no, Mr. Speaker. On that note, I would I would say that uh, when the when the dispis comes up, up for a vote tomorrow, I wouldn't give them another dime if this is, these are the games that the other side is playing. But one thing that I think is really a point of order, potentially, Mr. Speaker, is to threaten funding of a state agency in exchange for a vote is very very close to potentially log rolling which is a felony. But even more than that, I know the Speaker of the Assembly likes to talk about decorum. I think it's incredibly unbecoming to lead a task force and introduce a series of bills expecting them to be bipartisan, to exclude people from a committee, groups of people that wanted to be part of it, and then to threaten that if there's not bipartisanship, and a bipartisan vote on a bill threaten total funding of a state agency, that should be front page headlines, Mr. Speaker. My hands are literally shaking. I'm so upset. I'm not exaggerating. It's the idea that some of you think it's okay to play political games with actual people's lives and then go around and say the opposite. It's not okay. 